So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these fully reversible A-line shorts. I have made the pattern for this available so I will link it down below. I've also got a pattern for the matching cohort top so you can find that down below as well as well as the tutorial. I've tried to make everything as beginner friendly as possible so it should be kind of easy to follow. So let's get on with the tutorial. To make this project you will need two different styles of fabrics, either different patterns or different colours. You will want a four way stretch fabric, I normally use 95% cotton or polyester with 5% elastane but most stretch jerseys will work and you will want to make sure that you pre-wash any of your fabric to allow for shrinkage. You will need either an overlocker or a regular machine with zigzag stitch, you will need some pins something to cut out your pattern pieces, I'm using fabric scissors, something to draw out your pattern pieces, I'm using fabric pens, some flat braided elastic, this is optional but I would recommend it and this is about five to six millimeters wide. And then you will also need something for your waistband. So this is some flat braided elastic that is about an inch wide, but anything between one inch and two inches will be perfect. So now I'm just going to start laying my fabric out ready to cut the pattern pieces. And just to make things a little bit easier, I'm going to say that this is fabric A and this is fabric B. So I'm going to start with fabric A and I'm going to lay that down with the right side facing up. And then I'm going to take fabric B and I'm going to lay that with the right side facing towards the right side of fabric A. So now I'm going to start to draw out my patterns onto my fabric. So if you're using my pattern, you will have two pieces. You will have one piece for the shorts and you will have one piece for the waistband. So you're going to cut four in total of the shorts pieces, but you want to cut two with this little tab facing right. And then you want to flip the whole pattern and cut another two with this tab facing left and then you just want to do two of the waistband as well. So then once you have all your pieces drawn out, or at least as many as you can fit onto your table, as I have here, I'm going to take my pins and I'm just going to pin within the lines that I have drawn out. This will make it easier to cut both layers at the same time. So once you've finished pinning your fabric in place, I'm just going to go in and cut these out. Just make sure that you take your time with this to make sure it's as accurate as possible. So now that you've finished cutting everything out, I did forget to mention the pockets as well. So it's the same thing as with the shorts. You want to cut out two in this orientation with the straight side facing left and then two in this orientation with your straight edge facing right. So and then you've got your two shorts pieces cut out with this tab facing right and two cut out with the tab facing left. You will have four in total just because you've got two lots of fabric in there and then you've got your waistbands as well. So now I'm going to take 
one of each orientation of the shorts and I'm going to put everything else to one side for now. And I'm just going to remove the pins from both of these pieces so that I can work with the individual fabrics. So then I'm just going to take this piece with the right side facing up and I'm going to place my other piece right on top of that with right sides facing together. You just want to line up the edges. And now I'm just pinning along this edge and round this corner but leaving this straight edge open. So now I'm going to go in and stitch down this edge. So now once you have sewn along this edge, I'm just going to open out my shorts and now I'm going to add the pockets. So I'm just going to measure one inch down from the top of the shorts on each side. And then I'm going to take the pocket that corresponds with the correct side and you want to line up your straight edge of your pocket along the edge of the shorts and with the mark that you've just made, the top of the pocket should line up with that. And then I'm just going to pin down that edge. So I've just repeated that for the other side as well and now I'm going to take my waistband and just pin that along the top of the shorts. As always with this and the pockets you want right sides of the fabric facing together. I'm just going to pin that side and the opposite side. in the middle as well. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to sew along all of these edges that I've just pinned. So then once you have gone in and sewn all these edges, you want to go in and do exactly the same thing with your red gingham. And now I'm just going to flip this so that they are right sides together and I'm going to start to pin them together. So I'm just going to start by going along the very top of the shorts. And then along the bottom edge of the shorts. So 
So once you have sewn along the bottom edge, making sure you leave this straight edge open and you've sewn along the very top of the shorts, you can just go in and sew these areas. So then once you have sewn along the top and the bottom, I'm just going to add my waistband. I'm going to add mine to the red gingham side just because this is the side that I'm going to wear the most. So you want to take your piece of elastic which will be about an inch smaller than your actual waistband. If you're using my pattern there will be a table to tell you how much elastic you'll need. And I'm just going to pin that in the middle of this kind of waist area. And you're only going through one piece of the fabric here. So I'm only going through the red fabric, not through the pink. And then you can just go in and sew this on place, just literally on the edges. So once you have added your elastic, you want to go in and repeat every single one of the steps that you've just done with all of your remaining pieces. So you'll end up with two pretty much identical pieces. So I'm going to take this one on top and I'm just going to turn it so it is the right side out. And now you just want to start to thread the piece that is the right side out inside the piece that is still inside out, making sure that the right fabric is facing the right fabric. So I've got both of the red ginghams facing each other here. I'm just going to pull this all the way across to the other edge and just start to match up each corresponding edge and pin them together. You will be pinning through four pieces of fabric at this point. And then I'm going to take the pockets and bring them through and pin them all together. So you just want to repeat this until you have all of your edges lined up and pinned. So now you should have pinned down the side of your waistband, around your pocket, down the side of the bottom of the shorts, along this straight edge here, and along up around the other side in the exact same way. So now I'm going to go and sew all of these edges, just making sure that you're getting four layers of fabric when you're sewing.
So at this point, you should have everything completely enclosed. You should have sewed all around these edges along this straight edge here and along the edge on the other side and now you just need to turn it inside out so i'm just going to seam it a small hole i find that the best place to do it on this one is just by this area that, that is going to be like your crotch area of your shorts so you want to come in and unpick a small area on the very bottom hem of your shorts just leave a little gap next to this straight line you don't want to come into here but around here i'm just going to unpick this section and then once you have a good sized hole i'm going to start to pull the rest of the shorts through And now all that's left to do is to close up this hole. I'm going to use a ladder stitch by hand is normally the cleanest, easier way to do it. So I'm just going to come in this side and through and then across to the other side and then back to that side. And then across again, it makes kind of like an invisible seam. If you're not really sure how to do this, there are a lot of really good YouTube tutorials where you can learn to do this. That's where I learned. And it's quite simple to pick up once, once you know what you're doing. So I'm just gonna go all along the hole and then I'm gonna come back and tie it off at the end. Once you have stitched up this hole, your reversible shorts are done.